I'm going to explain to you a after dryer I made for my air compressor. It's 50 degrees in Central Texas this morning and your, the air is kind of cool. Normally, when you run a compressor, and I run a compressor a lot, I have a plasma table, you know, I, I paint with it, I have a sandblaster, so it runs for a good while. On a normal compressor, this copper fitting is going to go straight down to the tank. If this has been running a while, that'll get up over 300 degrees. So you're putting 300 degrees air into 50 gallon or into a 50 degree air tank. I used to always think that the, the moisture coming into your compressor was from the, the air itself, the moisture that's in there. And that, that's part of it. But I found through doing some testing and stuff, the majority of the air or the majority of the water that gets into your tank is because the hot air, when it cools down, it compensates and sweats and produces a lot of moisture. So what I did, I took a copper tubing and I made this for about $50. I adapted a copper tubing, kind of ran it into a swirl pattern. And then I actually run it into some water that I'm going to show you in a little bit. But this will reduce your amount of water tremendously. So with that said in the other part of the video, that the air is running through this copper tubing, cooling off a little bit through the, just through the air. But then what I did, I have a coil of copper tubing running into 50 gallons of water. So the water is 50 degrees right now it cools that air off. By the time it gets here it's already lowered quite a bit but when you run into the water and then back out it cools it off almost to 50 degrees again. So the, so the air going in your tank is at the, at the same temperature as the outside and it doesn't sweat. And just one word of, one word of warning when you run your copper tubing in there make sure it's not touching any other parts of copper tubing because a little bit of vibration will run a will make a little pinhole in your in your tubing and start leaking air and then I actually had a little radiator and before it goes back in the tank I run it to a little radiator that runs through the fan and that's what most after coolers are they're just this little radiator and they're forcing air through it to cool it off just like the radiator of a car that yellow dryer is what everybody ha should have on their compressor line. But before I put in the after dryer, I would actually go change or turn that cockpit open and, and get like a half an ounce or an ounce of water out of it every day before I would start. Since I've had the after dryer on, I get no moisture in that tank or in that dryer. And if you'll kind of look as I pan here, the... Uh, it actually has a drip loop with the PVC pipe before it goes in the shop. As it's coming out of the compressor, it actually slants down. So all the moisture should, after it comes out of the tank, should run downhill and, and all of it go into that dryer. And you should do that regardless if you build an after dryer or not. It'll, it'll help you quite a bit. It keeps the, the, the water, the moisture from just setting in the pipe and staying there constantly.